Cosmic Death Fungus, a primer on an ancient enemy by E.L. Editor on May 28, 2020. Content by unknown authors. Editing and translation by P.L. Editor. Historical background. We are a collective of scientists, geneticists, professors, and philosophers. I'm going to break this down in the simplest, most non-scientific way possible. Sources and more detail will be provided as we dig deeper. Fungus broke into our human genetic code approximately 15,000 years ago. We've traced it to a specific geolocation and point in time. The fungus affected our IL-17 and IL-22 cytokine pathways. CARD9 and STAT1 gene, allowing chronic systemic infection while we are still in the womb. It takes early control of our bodily systems and uses us as a food source. The majority of the world population is predisposed to have a lifetime infection and pass it down generationally to their children. It is intelligent and can work in colonies or as one superorganism. This fungus can take many forms in the body, including more than 100 subtypes of Candida, Cryptococcus, Aspergillus, and more. Some become systemic through inhalation, penetration of the intestinal barrier, or even skin contact. It is intelligent and can work in colonies or as an organized collective. It is responsible for every disease known and allopathic Western. Doctors are specifically trained to look everywhere but at the root of the problem. It causes brain disorders, tooth decay, heart problems, organ problems, degrades your eyesight, slows down your brain process, is a primary cause of cancer, anxiety, depression, gout, skin disorders, myalgias, sclerosis, damages your DNA, and is one of the primary hidden factors of aging itself. It influences your thoughts, behaviors, and eating habits. It prompts deviant and impulsive behavior. It destroys your hormone balance. It can cause a lifetime of illness, depression, and anxiety. No coordinated effort has been made to fight this hidden abomination until now, which is why we must remain nameless for now and why you need to share this information with loved ones. We can all win if we raise public awareness. The Fall of Man, the Grotto of Pigeons. Archaeological dig site discovered in Torrefe, Morocco in 1908. 52 skeletons were analyzed from a period of approximately 15,000 years ago. They had one unique trait that older digs at the site did not. First archaeological evidence of dental caries. The culture that lived in the damp, dark grotto maintained a sedentary lifestyle and were known for raising pigeons from generation to generation. Pigeon excreta is notorious for carrying many forms of pathogenic fungi. Dental caries are connected to fungal infection. We believe this is the exact location where our genetic immune defect occurred, arising through constant DNA damage and the eventual mutation that became a dominant gene, STAT1, after generations of handling pigeons and breathing in their spores in their confined living spaces. Early infection during development. Early infection of the ectoderm only 14 to 30 days after conception leads to early systemic invasion. The ectoderm later develops into the sensory and central nervous system, giving the fungus early unfettered access. Medically, this is referred to as apicid, or autoimmune polyendrocanopathy candidiasis ectodermal dystrophy. To recap, a genetic mutation allowed fungus to proliferate in our bodies 
and infect us shortly after conception. If this is true, then shouldn't it be responsible for miscarriages? Yes, it's killing our children before they are born. One aspect of our protocol is NAC, N-acetylcysteine. What a surprise that studies recommend NAC to prevent miscarriages. Now you understand that this fungus has control of us before we are even fully formed. These disgusting cosmic fleas infest everything. When you have sex, male ejaculate is full of fungus. The female vagina and uterus is full of fungus. Your mouth, nose, and ears are full of fungus. Your guts, organs, brain, and skin too. Oh, come on. Fungi are harmless and essential to life. It's a normal part of your gut biome. It breaks down decaying matter. It gives plants nutrients. These are important things. Paul Stamets, Serial Fungi Promoter. And now, the truth. Everything that is alive today is in a constant struggle for survival. Pathogenic fungi are constantly trying to consume everything. All life on this planet that doesn't have antifungal defenses has already gone extinct. Plants only survive because they convert fungal mycotocins into less toxic forms and store it in their tissue. Trees only survive because they produce powerful antifungals, terpenes, to stay alive. Yet the fungus still invades and eventually kills the tree. It mimics its cellular biology to invade and penetrate using hyphae. This Russian video shows in graphic detail why this natural protocol is so crucial. Surely the most fit predators must have survived. The current theory is that the dinosaurs went extinct after being exposed to fungus. Several theories attempt to explain how this happened. Transpermia claims that the cosmic fungus took a ride to our planet on a comet or meteorite. A large impact would have caused a vapor canopy effect, turning the world into a cloud-covered, dark and damp environment. This would be the perfect scenario for fungus to grow out of control and kill all forms of Earth life that didn't have pre-established defenses. This also explains why the spores are everywhere. Climb a plateau in the desert, you are breathing in spores. The answer isn't to remove it from your environment. The answer is to change how you respond to it. Maybe you are not convinced yet. We mentioned it is the root cause of almost every disease, how it can influence your behavior, including anxiety, depression, aggression, or lethargy how it can invade your thoughts leading to deviance and risk-taking, how it can drain your energy and your ability to think clearly, how it can put you in hormone imbalance and make you emotional, how it can decimate your quality of life and the happiness that you experience. Imagine what it would be like to be a real, free human being. You've never had the opportunity because it's always been there, controlling you from the inside out. It seems so unbelievable that something so common, such as yeast, mold, mildew, or fungus, could be the primary cause of human suffering, the primary cause of aging itself. We don't want you to believe this without proof, so let's continue. The Cancer Link we all have what we call yeast, candida albicans. Western medicine will tell you that it's harmless unless you are immunocompromised. This is a dangerous manipulation of the truth. You don't have to be immunocompromised to be in danger from candida. Candida in its yeast form resides primarily in your gut and your oral cavity, but it is not harmless and it's certainly not normal. These single-celled fleas constantly emit dangerous toxins, forcing the immune system to fight a battle it never wins. The toxic byproducts, including aldehydes and ammonia, 
created by Candida have already been linked to cancer. Candida also emits a unique peptide toxin called candidalysis. This toxin is similar to snake venom. This has already been linked to inflammation and cancer. Through its building of biofilms, Candida can surround healthy cells and interrupt normal cell signaling, causing cancer replication. Its ability to use biofilms for protection allows it to evade normal attack vectors like antibiotics or even prescription antifungals. The tooth decay link. Fungal overgrowth is a key factor in tooth decay. Because this fungus can infect the nervous system, tooth decay can start from the inside out. Many of yesterday's outdated models are being changed now that we know the true causes. The film or plaque we see on the teeth are biofilms or polysaccharide housings created by the fungus to protect itself. When candida hyphates, it turns from a single-celled organism into a multi-celled organism that branches off, similar to blood vessels. It then releases free nuclei, and they use this as a network for travel and protection. In this form, it is strong enough to penetrate rock. The fungus can infect the gums, nerve root, and the dentin itself. The answer to this specific problem is addressed in our protocol. We will give you the tools you need to fight back, but first, you must truly understand your enemy. The Brain Disease Link Fungal infections of the brain can cause complex issues. There is a connection to Alzheimer's, dementia, and schizophrenia, just to name a few. The fungus can infect your glial cell networks, eat holes in your brain matter, and cause amyloid plaque buildup, which is associated with the above disorders. One fungus, Candida albicans, is able to cross the blood-brain barrier, causing meningitis, seizures, and even cardiac arrest. Yet another fungus, Aspergillus, is known to eat holes in your brain. Transmission is through spore inhalation. Everyone has a base measurable lever of Aspergillus in their system. It can mimic asthma in the lungs as well. Cryptococcus neoformans is commonly misdiagnosed as Alzheimer's. Since it has the exact same symptoms, this call a fish a fish. Behavioral disorders due to fungal infection is documented. Recovery is possible by killing the fungus responsible. The central nervous system link. Fungal infection of the central nervous system is responsible for a laundry list of serious conditions. Evidence is indicating that initial fungal infections quickly move to infect the central nervous system and gain full access to the host. From there, it can affect the cerebrospinal fluid and has been associated with multiple sclerosis, ALS, and other serious diseases. It then begins invading your crucial body systems, including nerve endings and optical nerves. The nervous system invasion can also lead to not only vision loss, but several painful forms of neuropathy. But don't be fooled. The fungus doesn't stop there. It also infects your interstitial, the mucosa between your skin and tissue. We believe that salt intake warnings directly relate to this, since high levels of sodium are stored in the interstitial, which would kill the fungus. This would in turn harden the fungus and its biofilms, putting outside pressure on the heart, arteries, and organs. We've given examples of how it likes to spread throughout the body, causing pain and suffering. Unfortunately, this is only the beginning. The hormone link. A common saying is, men aren't like they used to be. Have you ever wondered why? We know about estrogenic compounds in food, and some of you know the relation between parasitic infection and deviant behavior. Let's take it a step further. Put simply, fungal mycotoxins, their byproducts, decrease testosterone production. Even worse, 
the problem is targeted towards males. Quite simply, sex hormones can alter virulence of the fungus and its ability to reproduce. Hormones can also strengthen your immune function, which is why Candida works in the testes to reduce testosterone. Right now you are probably thinking, you're acting like the fungus is intelligent and doing this intentionally. Unfortunately for us, fungus is intelligent. Watch it solve a maze. Wrap up, the fungal link to disease. We've expanded on only a few of the areas we could have. To keep this report brief and to the point, we will summarize a few more here as an ending note. Arthritis, depression and behavior changes, schizophrenia, chronic fatigue syndrome, lung cancer, asthma. Let's stop there. We could go on, but I think you get the point. Also, at this crossroads, you may be asking yourself, why isn't my immune system stopping this? We are going to explain that next. The important takeaway here is that fungus is the root cause of nearly all disease. You may have heard that inflammation is, but where does all that inflammation come from? You guessed it! Why is my immune system failing? Remember when we mentioned the Grotto of Pigeons? Generations of constant exposure to fungus started with a recurring cycle of DNA damage, leading to gene mutations which eventually became dominant genes, which are then passed on from generation to generation. These defects are in how the immune system responds specifically to fungus, allowing it to remain in the body unchallenged. Three major genetic defects have caused this problem, IL-17RC, STAT1, and CARD9. Your body normally has a well-established immune system to Candida using specific cytokine pathways that regulate our immune response. These genetic defects have disabled Candida-specific responses as well as the gene responsible for preventing infection of the mucous membranes. This grouping of genetic predisposition to candida infection is called familial candidiasis. Current government estimates put the percentage of the population affected at 50% to 70%. We believe the number is closer to saturation and likely 90% or more. Since these defects are dominant genes passed on generationally, eventually we will be looking at 100% of the population. As a result, your body never manages the infection response and only localized immune responses occur. This means that candida has free reign over your body. It simply tricks your immune cells using melanin structures on its fungal membrane to do what it wants. If it encounters stubborn phages that want to kill it, it simply creates hyphae directly through the immune cells, killing it and using it for a food source, or uses its peptide toxin called candidalysis. Your immune system is in a constant battle that cannot be won. Some would say by design. Enter the NAC protocol. We were confronted with this ancient enemy and began brainstorming ways to start finally fighting back. After many months of extensive research and trial and error with test groups, the solution finally took shape. 